Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The purchase and pricing question line from you to me and my hand-picked crew with your questions about buying this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. tmasso at thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a lovely third series Patek Philippe 3970P in platinum, a timepiece 36.2 millimeters in diameter, 43.4 millimeters from lug to lug, 12.9 millimeters thick with a 19 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throwing this watch on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist, you can see the two were made for each other. The watch has a traditional discretion about its size and its fit, compatible on a wrist of any size. I'm not actually going to name a lower wrist size for wearing this, as I feel it would wear well on a wrist of any size. You can also see with a concave bezel profile and only 12.9 millimeters thick, it will easily slide underneath the cuff. This is a mon monstrous watch with exceptional discretion. The timepiece is incredibly comfortable but substantial in full platinum. And you can see that Patek Philippe has specced this one with a strap and clasp to match. A large scale semi-gloss black alligator leather strap with a folded edge, a monotone stitch. You can see this is a Patek Philippe factory strap in brand new condition, outstanding condition, buttery smooth and unmarred, and you will buckle it with this matching platinum Patek Philippe folding clasp. The clasp itself, which I believe is actually stuck together by a sticker here, featuring a combination of high polish and a filigree style Calatrava cross externally. It offers immense security while donning or removing at bedside, and this was not a standard feature on the third series watch. It was on the fourth series, but someone ordered this optionally after the purchase to increase the value as well as the inherent security of this watch. So you've got that optional full platinum clasp, and then you can see the cases of outstanding condition. With these watches, I always look for the fluting of the lugs, and I look to make sure that it's intact, because when these are poorly refinished, that's the first thing that goes. So too is the hall marking on the flank of the case and as you can see this one is deep and crisp you'll appreciate that these lateral marks identify this as a third series watch not a fourth series and I should mention the warranty papers are dated 1998 for proximity it's a lovely case handmade with welded lug construction not stamped out or machined you can see these pieces were made separately and then hand assembled with all evidence of the joint between them removed to create that sharp break a lovely curvature to the case you can see it has several different tiers giving way ultimately to a concave bezel profile there are a lot of handsome arcs on this case simple pump style pushers and a Calatrava cross on the Patek Philippe crown, rotating the dial. It's a fearsome black with white gold hands and indices. You can see they are the baton style hands of the third series, as well as the dart style indices, diamond polished, high polished, faceted, and beautiful. The dial itself is a handmade work of art. A lot going on here, perpetual calendar. You've got the day, you've got the month, you've got the date, you've got the moon phase, you've got the leap year cycle, lots of mono counters. You've got your AM, PM, or your 24 hour cycle here, so you know when it's night, when not to use the pusher adjusters to adjust the calendar. You've also got your constant seconds, you've got your date, your moon phase, the adjustment interval for the moon phase is once every 122 years. You've got a chronograph minutes indicator, which you'll note is of the jumping variety, as well as your leap year phase indicator. A handsome watch, it becomes more so on the reverse side. I'm going to do my best to capture this, but this is the CH2770. Based on the LaMagna 2310 Bausch, it is an old school manual wind column wheel lateral clutch chronograph, and it is beautiful. With a fully jeweled lateral clutch, you can see a big balance free sprung adjusted in six positions and it includes a giant balance that's almost the radius of the movement that's how you know this is a very traditional architecture that huge balance is free sprung gyromax style and beaten away at 18,000 vibrations per hour on a handmade brigade overcoil hairspring which allows the watch to keep superb time in any orientation 24 joules you can see that the La Magna 2310 Bausch has been highly modified. One modification you can see is the power reserve has been increased from 48 hours to 65 hours in the Patek version of the watch, and it bears the Poisson de Genève or the Geneva hallmark, phased out in mid-2009, long after this series ended. It ended in 2004. The Geneva hallmark is the traditional imprimatur of fine finish on watches made in the city or canton of Genève. You will note a few different finishes here. Mirrored on glage, not just on the edge of every bridge, but also 
also on the edge of the steel chronograph levers, yoke, horns, and recentering hammers. All screw heads black polished with chamfered circumference and slots. There's engine turning or prolage on the base plate, thickly ridged Cote de Genève, and you can see how it's darker on one side than it is on the other. That's the sign of real abrasive wheel Cote de Genève, as opposed to the stamped kind. And you'll note satin finishing across the top of all the steel components, all of the chronograph components with that lovely satination atop, as well as satination on the wheels themselves with chamfered spokes and inner circumference. It is an absolute work of art. Just about the only refinement it doesn't have is water resistance, as it's 30 meters water resistant, but hey, nobody's perfect. That's why you've got a Nautilus or an Aquanaut. A perpetual calendar, it operates such that you only need to adjust it in the year 2100. And a crisp column wheel chronograph, you get that crisp column wheel feel with every start, stop, and reset. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.